Hey guys, Roger, back with another video. In this video, we are going to compare Elastic Beanstalk and Codestar. Both Elastic Beanstalk and Codestar enables you to develop, build, and deploy applications on AWS. Elastic Beanstalk has been around for a long time, but Codestar is relatively new service. All right, so in this video, we are going to go over the differences along with hands-on demo. All right, let's get into it. Okay, let's start by looking at the official AWS Codestar page. Uh, so AWS Codestar enables you to quickly develop, build, and deploy applications on AWS. AWS Codestar provides a unified user interface, enabling you to easily manage your software development activities in one place. Um, so this sounds a little bit similar with Elastic Beanstalk, right? Uh, because from Elastic Beanstalk also, uh, you can select a blueprint of a project and then you can spin it up in uh, minutes. So how is it different? All right, let's go back to our good old comparison chart. Uh, and then we're also gonna take a look uh, in the console with actual demo. Okay, so primary purpose for both Elastic Beanstalk and Codestar is quickly develop, build, and uh, deploy apps on AWS. Um, CICD, Elastic Beanstalk utilizes CloudFormation. Uh, if you guys see my other video about uh, Elastic Beanstalk, uh, you could see that as soon as you spin up uh, Elastic Beanstalk stack, uh, you will see a CloudFormation uh, stack getting created. Uh, Codestar uh, uses code pipeline, and each step is visualized and it is more DevOpsy. So we're gonna see this part in the demo and this will become more clear. Access to code base, code can be downloaded from reference website and then you can import it into your own ID of choice and then you have to um, push the code to the servers and all that good stuff. With Codestar, uh, you don't have to download the code from a reference website. Uh, code can be opened in IDE with one click, so which is pretty slick. Uh, we're gonna check into that. And then um, these last two uh, points are unique, um, especially tracks, prints, and issues. I don't think any service uh, provides that except Codestar. Um, so what do I mean by that? Let's say you deploy your website and then you want to change something. Um, so if you guys are working in agile organizations, you probably have a sprint uh, in Jira or um, GitHub, and then you track it there and um, you deploy the changes. So Codestar actually integrates with Jira and GitHub directly uh, from the dashboard. And you can open a sprint, you can track sprint uh, from the service itself, which is pretty neat. And the managing project team, uh, Elastic Beanstalk, it's not available from the service. So basically you have to use a traditional uh, IAM logins uh, to segregate the roles and groups. Uh, Codestar, you can assign team members and roles uh, from the dashboard itself. All right, let's now jump into console and explore this. Okay, we are back to the console. Uh, so let's go to Elastic Beanstalk first to refresh our memory, and then we're gonna go to uh, Codestar. Okay, so Elastic Beanstalk, uh, we can create a environment and we can select this web server environment. Uh, click select, uh, pre-configured platform, you can select, uh, maybe we'll select Java, um, sample application and then create environment. So remember that there is no CI CD tools here, right? So as soon as uh, this Elastic Beanstalk stack is getting created, uh, it actually submits a uh, CloudFormation. So if I click this modify the code button, uh, this actually is just gonna take you to another uh, reference page where, you, where it tells you where to get the bundle and all that stuff. So if you keep following the links, you will end up in this page. Uh, this is where all the source codes are given. Uh, so what do you do with Java, right? Uh, so this Java, so if you click this, it's gonna download the zip file and then you can uh, get the code and then use your local ID. Um, okay, so let's go back to the Elastic Beanstalk, it's starting. Okay, uh, another thing I wanted to show is uh, CloudFormation. So you should see a CloudFormation stack. 
uh, submitted from the AWS Elastic Beanstalk, see AWS EB. Uh, so that's what it means. Okay, so you can see there is no uh, code deploy, code commit, all that stuff. Okay, now let's go to code star. Okay, we are back to the main console. Uh, so let's click code star. Okay, and then um, start a project. So let me reduce the font size a little bit. So you can see uh, this is a much more uh, refined sample application page. Especially on the left, you can filter based on multiple criteria. You can see, hey, show me only the web application or show me the web service or even Alexa scale, all that stuff. So let's click, uh, let's say a web service. How about that? Okay. And then we want to uh, click, uh, let's say, uh, Spring, Java Spring. Um, how about EC2? Okay, uh, we're giving Lambda a lot of love these days. Let's click Amazon EC2. And then it gives you an option. Hey, uh, where should Codestar put the sample code? So it gives you an option. Um, you can say, hey, okay, put, put all the sample code in code commit. Uh, or you can use GitHub, right? Um, so if you use GitHub, it will ask you to connect to GitHub and then a repository name. Let me give a project name, sample code star, okay? Uh, so it is gonna create a repository in GitHub and if I click next, uh, boom, here you go. See, it's saying, okay, so for source, I'm using GitHub. For build, I'm going to use AWS code build, same for test. Deploy, I'm going to use AWS Code Deploy, and monitoring, I'm going to use Amazon uh, CloudWatch, right? Uh, so depending on what blueprint you select, it is gonna show you what DevOps uh, tool chain it is gonna use for CI/CD. Uh, so let's keep, uh, let's select a web application and maybe uh, serverless AWS Lambda. Okay, how about this Go application? I like this little buddy. Okay, so we're gonna say web app code star. Okay, let's do code commit. Click next. So it's gonna create a repository named web app dash code star. Uh, so now it's showing, hey, for source, I'm going to use code commit. For build and test, I will use code build, deploy cloud formation, monitoring CloudWatch. Okay, let's create project. Uh, pick how you want to edit your code, right? So it gives you the choice of IDEs. Uh, so I love AWS Cloud9. Okay, so I'm just gonna select that and click Next. Uh, recommended instances for Cloud9, T2 Micro all the way. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the video and come back uh, once the application is spun up. Okay, so our app is up. Uh, so let's first uh, go to the link. So this is the application endpoint. Let's click that. All right, so congratulations. You just created a Go Web application uh, designed and developed with love in Seattle. Okay, so let's go back to the console. So in this CodeStar dashboard, right? Um, let's explore this a little bit. So I'm gonna to go to the IDE a little bit later. So on the right side is the continuous deployment, source, build, deploy. So if you click this, uh, it's gonna open the AWS code pipeline and it's gonna show each step. So if you want, you can go in detail uh, on each step and explore that. Okay, so this is the monitoring part. This is the Amazon uh, CloudWatch, which is in the dashboard as well. Um, this is the Jira stuff that I was talking with. Uh, so you can click connect and you can connect to Atlassian Jira. I'm not gonna do that in this video. Okay, and now uh, another thing that is unique is set up your team. So if I click uh, set up your team, uh, you can add a team member to this project, okay? Um, so I can select the IAM user, maybe developer Bob. Uh, you can give an email address and you can say, hey, developer Bob, is maybe a contributor, right? Um, I can add another team member. How about developer Tina? Uh, maybe she's just a viewer for this one, right? So you add all that. Um, so it's pretty convenient. 
So let's go back to dashboard and um, let's go to the most fun stuff is uh, updating the code. Uh, so if you click the start coding or you can click the see my environments, uh, it should take you to the cloud nine environment. So you can see it, it's uh, cloning all that stuff. So close this web app, code star, um, okay, the public, the index.html is the HTML place. Uh, okay, so let's do one thing. So this is our app. Uh, it says designed and developed with love in Seattle. I love Seattle. Uh, however, I love New York City a little bit more. So how about we change this Seattle to New York City? Okay, let's go back to uh, our Cloud9. Click, uh, double click this index HTML. Let's find out the Seattle. Okay. Here in, okay, I'm just gonna make it New York City. Okay, let's save this. Okay, one file changed, and then I'm just gonna put it, uh, push it. Okay, so git push origin master. Okay, so it pushed. So let's go back to code star. So code start and then we're gonna go to code pipeline. Okay, so as you can see, uh, it automatically started building the code. And you can see uh, our changes are here. Okay, so it triggered the whole chain. Uh, it, it, it committed the code. Uh, it built our code and now it's deploying. Uh, so think about this for a minute, right? So code star, uh, created the sample application, and then uh, it uh, put the sample code in a repository, in one of your repository, so that you don't have to go to a website and download it and search it, all that stuff. And with a click of a button, it opened the code in IDE, you changed it, and it was automatically connected to the repository through Git. So all you had to do is just, you did not even have to clone it. You just had to make the change and then just push it and then it automatically um, triggers this whole CI CD tool set and the changes uh, should be done in any minute. So we're going to pause this video and come back uh, as soon as the changes are deployed. If you guys are liking uh, this episode, uh, please feel free to suggest an AWS service that you want me to cover and I'll cover it uh, in the future episodes. Okay, the changes are deployed. Let's go back to the Kurtstar console. Okay, I accidentally <laughs> pushed it twice. Um, so you can see all the changes, all the commit comments are here. Um, okay, let's try the link now. If we click it, there we go. Instead of Seattle, uh, it's saying uh, New York City. All right, guys, that is the video. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.